Spring is my favorite time of the year. It's time to move the carnivorous plants from tissue quarter to soil. So I'm at the hardware store to go get some supplies. In previous years, I used 10 by 20 trays, but this time I'm going to upgrade and use some of these cement mixers. They are more heavy duty and they should last for a couple of years. Okay, so I went to three Lowe's and none of them have pit moss. They are all out of stock. So thankfully, uh, Home Depot does have some pit moss. So I'm going to get two of these. Okay, it's a pretty chilly day. It was like 90 degrees two days ago and today is 65. So, but it's a very really nice day to, to do some reporting of carnivorous plants. Okay, so I'm using a concrete mixers and I need to make a drain hole for them. So half inch. And for the drain, I'm not going to put it on the bottom, I'm going to put it on the side. I want them to actually flood and then and then just as an overflow. Okay, now I need to put a screen on the inside so the soil doesn't go out. So I'll be right back. Right, so I found this mesh screen that I just glued here. It's still a little wet. I'm uh, just going to let it dry. Looks pretty good. So I'm just going to let it dry. In the meantime, I'm going to mix the soil with some water. Okay, so the mix was supposed to be a 60-40 pit to perlite, but I saw that it was not enough uh, uh, perlite on it, so I added a couple of sands of uh, sand and see how, let's see how it does.
Okay, it's time to start with flasking some plants, and this is by far my least favorite part of this. Um, if there is any volunteers and you live locally to me, just let me know, and then I will, I will let you have a bunch of plants for free if you help me do this. Because it is a lot of work. I have all of these plants to deflask. Okay, what do I do this to myself? There are thousands of plants in here that I need to wash and then put it into into the flats. There's so many. It's going to take a long time. If you are local to me, just let me know. You can have as many as you want and you can come and help me. Definitely doesn't look pretty and in about a week they're probably going to die off. But I guarantee you in about a, a month or so they are going to make a full carpet. They will come back no problem. Also because they're going to be directly outside, um, I shouldn't have any issues with some with fungus. Because although I did rinse them, they still have some, some agar in the in the plants. But that shouldn't be an issue because they're going to be outside. The plants are outside. Uh, here are the pinguiculas. It's mostly shade. They will get some sun after later in the afternoon. And here are the the sundews. Again, they will get some in the afternoon. So this is Drosera capillaris. These two are Drosera capillaris. They are different types. Um, Drosera spatulata, Drosera capensis, and I don't know what to put in there. I was going to put a pinguicula, but uh, I didn't have enough. So I will go back home. I will see what else I can find. Go well, back to the lab, and then I will see what else I can find to put in here. Right. So I will keep you updated on how these plants do. Um, this is definitely not the ideal way to uh, deflask uh, plants uh, from tissue culture. But uh, I've been doing this for a couple of years now and they do fine to me. Yes, not all of them survive, but they, in about a month, like I say, they're probably going to make a full carpet. They're going to take all over the trays. Um, probably not the pinguiculas. The pinguiculas will take longer to to propagate but all the sun they're going to do very well uh, so next week i'm going to probably make a quick update on how they do and then i probably want to add one more plant to the to the empty tray that i have so until next time i'll see you goodbye hey everyone thanks for watching the video if you're enjoying these tissue culture videos be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content and if you're interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments, make sure to check us out at plantcelltechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use the code FP10 for 10% off your first purchase.